Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever the case may be in this bright, wonderful world that we live in. I am your humble host, Mike S. Miller, and I am tonight going to be doing a live drawing of Ragnarok, max level from Fortnite, because I, uh, I'm trying to build my channel up, and so I do want to do some... Um, of course, eventually, I do want to do some Lone Star live drawing, and I will do some Lone Star live drawing. But for the time being, uh, I need to build up my YouTube channel, try to get some people in here. And uh, drawing something as ridiculously popular as Fortnite right now seems like the wise choice. So let me grab my... Um, I'm trying to open up my channel here. Um... Darn it all, search, uh, blacklist. Sorry, I'm actually using an iPad, blacklist universe. And you all already know to be here. All right, live drawing, blacklist universe. Make sure this is muted or whatever. And live chat, top chat. Open it up. Come on, open it up. Yay, everybody's here. I don't know how many people are watching. 27 people are watching. Ragnarok. Uh, what's up, Mike? Just dropping in to throw you a like. Thank you, Pixel Trader. Sierra Whiskey, what's up, everybody? So uh, before I start even talking to you guys, yeah, got to build that audience. Um, and yeah, how crazy popular is Fortnite right now, right? And so what the heck? I uh, If I like what I do here... Uh, I'll end up printing it out, uh, inking it up, getting it colored or coloring it myself, and then, um, you know, making prints or something. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. Uh, I don't need this, so let's close this out. Oh, please don't act all slow and chuggy, Photoshop. I dislike it when you do that. All right. So brush. I'm going to use a blue, not a blick. And I'll just use your standard. Am I using brush? Okay. Okay. So, zoom, click. Um, I'm going to have the dude. What do you think, guys? Holding a staff? I'm asking my, my team of dedicated experts. Oh, I'm not screen sharing yet, am I? <laughs> um, okay, dedicated experts. A battle axe. Oh, electric blue battle axe with with sparks on it. Micah, do you concur? Yes. All right. That's what it is. My expert team has just decided uh, that an electric blue battle axe is the way to go. So let's. Oh shoot. Let me see. Let me screen share so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Ha ha. All right. Let it out, let it in, let us begin. All right, let's create a new layer. Open this up, fill it. Get rid of this ruler so I don't have to see that. Hide this. All right. Darn it. Brush. Uh, that's it? Nobody has said anything in the last... That can't be right. Um, Lone, Squ Lone Star Squadron calling out. Evening, sir. Evening, all. Um, so here we go. Let me think what kind of a cool pose could we be like, well, he's going to be holding an ax. So let's do that. I'm going to kind of do it in the similar method that I did my, um, all my Overwatch stuff. Man, that would have been cool if I had all my Overwatch stuff live streamed and videoed when I was drawing it. Right? That would have been awesome. Here. And I want to be asking my, again, my expert team for advice on posing and whatnot. So, uh, hey guys, what do you think about a pose like this? Is a battle axe two-handed? Like a pole, like on a pole? 
in Fortnite? Well, I have I'm going to have to get reference for this, but. Uh... Okay, he's he's switching out his character. He's literally playing while we're doing this, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, that's a monster battle axe. Jeez. All right, so something. Is this a cool pose? You guys like? Good enough. I got a good enough thumbs up from the kids. So, um, let's see. Top chat. Let's go to live chat. Lone Star Squadron number nine. Right on. All right. Dinner and some sketching. Blacklist Brain Trust. <laughs> the Chirins. The Chirins. All right. This guy's got a really broad set. Um, maybe not the shoulders itself but the armor so let's just kind of buff them up a little bit dun, 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 dun. <sighs> grab 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 um mike you fortnite noob get good dude i don't have time to play i play uh call of duty when i have time to play games at all and man, I have I don't have time to play that. I just I'm so busy. Um, but man, I used to wreck it on Call of Duty. I used to go like thirty and zero on on free for alls. I was pretty baller. But you know what? You don't play long enough, you lose the ability. Um, so I go on there now, and I just get wrecked. <laughs> uh, the dog father is a gamer who's never played Fortnite. Well. I get to watch a lot of Fortnite being played in this house, so <laughs> I feel like I have some experience, but certainly not enough to uh, make all the wise decisions that my children can inform me about. So, all right, so this is going to be Ragnarok. Um, so he's got a big helmet here. I've got his picture downloaded on my phone so I can see. Uh, why do you think the con was so slow this year? Uh, legitimately, I think there's con fatigue. I think there is superhero fatigue. Hey, guys, turn it down. Um, I, yeah, I mean, we were just talking about it on the other stream with Mitch, and Edwin and I talked about this last night, but there's... <sighs> It's just been too much for too long. It's it's ten years of of you know crazy good superhero movies, um, and it was all building up to Avengers, right? Well, Avengers came out, and it's just like, woo, we're you know we're over it, we're done, and I don't know what else people can expect. I think uh, as 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 cool as the Aquaman um, trailer was, I just thought today and dude I, I, I love Jason Momoa so I, you know I hope it does really really well but um, it's, it's I don't know all the hype all all the promise of 10 years of Marvel Universe can't it can't be um, can't be beat it can't be competed with technically I mean in you know, like when they tried to do Justice League, right? And it just came out, and it was like what they were trying to do was create an Avengers uh, by like bum rushing everything out at the same time and put it together, and everyone come into the same movie, even though the Batman that was in the movie wasn't the Batman that was in the previous movies. Um, it was like a Batman from its own mythos, um, but they they just put everything together really quick. And I don't know, it just didn't, that didn't work. And I don't think they can, you can't compete with something that you spent literally over a decade building up um, just by, you know, slapping it out there. So, so Avengers comes out, Avengers, um, yeah, explodes, my son says. And, and I think people are just tired. And, you know, I was a little tired. And I, I saw it not just in San Diego. I saw it at the last, what, four cons I've been to. Um, and I hear it from other vendors at cons. And it's, uh, 
don't know. It seems like it's time for a sea change. It's time for a correction in the market, and it's 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 a rebuilding time for for the comic book genre uh, as a whole. And you know what? Maybe it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Maybe it's all just fitting into a greater um, a greater plan of what's going to happen with um, the comic book industry as a whole, Comics Gate in particular, our, our us finding our place in the greater whole of the comic book universe, the com well not universe, the comic book um, industry, right? And so. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's all, all part of the plan. And, you know, that, that'd be fine with me. I want to take a time to develop um, properties and characters and um, media for the next wave that's coming. Because this wave, this wave's already hit the shore. This wave is over. You can't jump on this wave anymore. Uh, anybody who's trying is just going to eat sand. Um, and that's what I'm afraid of with like the Wonder Woman movie. And, and you know what? That's what I'm saying. We're not going to crash, um, but we're going to peter. We're going to peter out. And I know they'll still be producing some good stuff, but I don't think it's going to have the intensity and the, the, the strength of, of the character's and the movement as a whole, um, the movement as in, you know, the, the, <sighs> sorry, my, I'm doing pretty good considering I'm drawing, laying out and talking at the same time. Cause usually I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I can't think and draw at the same time. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty well. But the movement is not, I'm not talking about the comic scape movement, I'm talking about the movement of, of comic, comic book properties into mass media taking over essentially the, you know, the top spots of all of, of media, um, movies, TV, you know. The only place where it's not taking over is in the comic book field because they just let it, they let it die on the vine. Um, shoot, I don't have reference for this guy's hands. Is he just wearing gloves or? I have reference for his top of his hand. He has these little spiky things here. Um, I'll be fine with no more comic book movies. Let's go back to story and character development over special effects. Well, the thing is, um, comic book movies are, you know, a comic book is just a medium. A comic book is not a genre. Right, I mean, there's superhero is a genre, um, western is a genre, but you can have western comic books. And if you do a, a western comic book based off of, you know, like say say we got Six Gun Samurai, it's my, one of my one of my uh, independent comics. I did if, if Samurai done as a comic book or not as a or a TV series, it'd be a better TV series than a movie. Um, then oh, another comic book movie or series, whatever you'd be saying, Oh, cool. It's a, it's a, you know, martial arts Western. That's freaking rad. We'll, we'll check this out. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not, you can't just say, Oh, I'm sick of comic book or, or yeah, comic book movies. Cause comic books are not a genre. They are a medium and a medium that is, um, capable of, of any genre. I mean, for good or ill, you can you can literally do any genre in a comic book. So uh, the XCU will fail if it follows the same pattern the MCU is trending towards, aka regressive ideologies. XCU, what is XCU? Sierra Whiskey, yes, yeah, Six Gun Samurai. It's it's a book I did. Uh, I co-wrote the first five issues, and then I wrote the last issue, the sixth issue. It's on Comicsology. It's about a kid who. Um, he he grows up with his mom in this old you know old west uh, um, what do you call those traveling traveling show and he his mom and he are the sharpshooters and so his mom gets mortally wounded um, and on her deathbed tells 
her son that her his father is actually still alive. And so he goes on a trek across the country um, along with his sensei, who was a ronin samurai that was just living with the circus, um, kind of like, you know, taking care of the animals because he is he's he, he's living a life of ex exile and shame. And so he goes um, along with him and uh, and they they encounter some hijinks on the way before uh, ultimately getting to the town where his father, uh, you know, his, his father's actually been writing his mother this whole time. Uh, these, these letters that she never showed his, her son. And then, um, and then he gets to that town and I'm not going to tell you what happens. Go buy the book. It's on comiXology. Uh, if you, if you're not afraid of reading, um, digital comics, I don't know, maybe someday, Oh, that would be really great if I could just do because it's already done. Um, if I could do an Indiegogo for Six Gun Samurai, just launching as a um, a, a finished, ready, ready to be printed trade paperback. Uh, the art is by Harold Edge. He's a fantastic artist out of Florida. Um, <clears throat> writing by myself and Sean Jordan. Uh, someone who just kind of disappeared from the comic book industry a while ago. Um, but it's, I think it's really well written. I think it's really well drawn and colored. And I think colors were by Teodoro Gonzalez, if I can remember correctly. It's been a while. But yeah, do go check it out, please. It sounds awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Without Fag, uh, XCU and FF will be doomed if you've done anything. He was boasting, not choking. No one kills or protection. I, th I feel like I've jumped into a conversation you guys are having without me. <laughs> uh, Sierra Whiskey, if I buy it now, do you get the monies? Yes, I get the money from Comixology. That is my book. Everything up there in the... Uh, oh, what did I call my publisher? I think it's Abacus Comics. Um, but just look me up. My, the Imaginaries, Six Gun Samurai, Deal with the Devil... Uh, lullaby. Is that all I have up there? That might be all I have up there. Um, but those are all my titles. I get the money. Um, lullaby. I co-created with uh, Hector uh, Elsevilla. Uh, Elsevilla. Why am I forgetting his name? Hector Sevilla. I mean Hector. Oh, I know why. Because I always, I usually call him by. He's got like four names. <laughs> Because he's he's from Mexico, he lives in Mexico, and he, so he's got he goes by four names. So it's always like uh, Hector Sevilla, Luhan, blah blah blah, or something like that. I can't remember them all. My gosh, I, wow. Um, but so yeah, I I if if that book ever sells enough um, to cut a freaking check, I'll pay him royalties. But it was our best selling book at Image and at Alias. Um, and that's another one I would love to eventually be able to afford to to pay Hector to, to you know, jump back on board. I know he wants to do it because he loves the property. Um, but if we could get that going too, man, there's so much we could do. So much we could do. Um, man with no name. Captain Manvers. Okay, you're talking about that stuff. Mike, what do you think about the whole thing with J Disney firing James Gunn? Uh... I would have fired him. Um, boy, those 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 weren't jokes, man. I mean, they were. I don't. If he meant those as jokes, I don't see how anyone, any rational person, could see what he wrote and consider that to be funny. You know, that's not funny stuff. That's that's talking like really. Bad. My kids are in the room. I don't even want to repeat that sort of stuff that he said. Um, that's how bad it is. And so I don't want, you know, when I worked at, or when I ran Alias, we had this policy that actually got me into trouble with like the, the you know, gay activist types. Uh, and the policy was that if you produce um, mature imagery and products that you could not publish with 
alias at the same time. Like not to say you couldn't, if you, if you did it in your past, you couldn't do it now, but we were a family friendly company uh, with children. You know, our, our motto was books for all ages. Um, and so if you're producing, you know, stuff that is not, does not, is not conducive to all ages audiences. I didn't want some kid reading a book and being like, oh, uh, you know, I love the art in this. I wonder what else this guy does. And then, bah, 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 gay porn. Um, <laughs> right? So, um, so yeah, I, because one, one of our artists was a, a, a gay brother uh, named, uh, um, gosh, was it Jack Lawrence? Darn it. Hold on a second. I think it was Jack Lawrence. And he was drawing lions, tigers, and bears. And, you know, great guy, fantastic artist. Um, but he also dabbled in the, what I just mentioned, and it was not something we wanted our children reading our books to, to go Google. Right. Um, and that was our policy. That was our policy. And we got berated from like people, activists in the gay community saying that we're homophobic and all this stuff for not wanting to let Jack draw you know that stuff while he was working with us and i'm like uh i mean we don't have to publish him he's perfectly free to do whatever he wants but this is our policy we're trying to protect protect children from um you know things like that, things like that we don't want them seeing and so uh yeah that was just one more one more strike against you know, me for all those folks who want to claim that I'm like homophobic and all this stuff. It's like they, it's, it's as if they totally ignored the fact that we're publishing a gay artist's work, working with a gay artist, having a gay artist out to our booth, um, you know, get only getting along famously with said gay artist, but we just didn't want pornography and of any stripe, not just to happen that it happened to be gay porn. That's, that was really kind of not even the point, <laughs> but you know what? Those, those people will, uh, <sighs> those people, and it's the activists, not, not anyone else I'm talking about. Um, they'll do anything to tear a person down. Anything. They'll lie, cheat and steal. They'll, they'll make stuff up. You see it on Twitter every day. Uh, people just making stuff up, uh, taking, taking stuff out of context. Oh my gosh. They tried to lambast Edwin uh yesterday uh for for you know similar similar things saying innocuous things and then trying to turn around and turn it into like some sort of a nefarious you know just gobbledygook it's it, so frustrating these people have no shame they have you know unmitigated unmitigated gall <sighs> i don't know maybe i'm getting worked up talking about it but but, 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 yeah, um, I like to make the point um, that, you know, what it's not, it's not what you believe. It doesn't matter what you believe. I don't care if you believe that, that Christians are insane. I don't care if you believe that, uh, that, that Christianity is, is the tool of the weak. I don't, I don't care what your negative beliefs about Christianity are. If you treat me like a decent human being. Right, I don't care what you believe if you treat me like a decent human being. And I think, from my perspective, that's the way everyone should feel. But these people, they not only care what you think, they want to get you fired for thinking what you think. They don't want you to be able to make a living. Hell, they probably don't want you to be alive for thinking what you think. That's, I mean... Fascism was probably like nice compared to the way these people think. <laughs> Calling them fascists is probably doing a disservice to fascists. So, um, sorry. Tangent, tirade, diatribe. I am just babbling and babbling and babbling and babbling. Um, uh, la la la. Lie, cheat, and steal. That was the only charming one Eddie Guerrero did. Welcome, friends of Packinsland, Grant Hall. 
Uh, I hear you, Mike. Thank you. If they have to lie, you should tell them something, but they never stop long enough to think about what they are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Truth. Blacklist Universe. I was wondering how you send books to the troops so I can send some copies of Stardust. The USO. USO. Look it up. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Possibly? Yes. Mike, what would you say to someone who supports you in spirit with Lone Star but really hates vampires? Well, then you'll love Lone Star because I kill all the vampires. Because he kills the vampires. <laughs> It's not a story about vampires. It's a story about Lone Star. Uh, vampires just happen to, to be the villain du jour of the life that he leads. So, um, yeah, there you go. And, um, and frankly, my vampires are a little bit, uh, little bit different than, than your standard run-of-the-mill fare. So, um, I don't know. Give it a shot. Um, give it a shot. I mean, if, if I really don't, I don't, I don't look at it as a vampire story, like I said, but they, they just happen to be the villains of this particular story arc. So, um, if you hate vampires and you want to see them all dead, then that's how we do. Um, Edwin, Hey, Edwin. Uh, the only reason I jumped into that mix is it appeared they were trying to provoke some sort of alter altercation at SDCC. The patterns look similar to things we've seen before. Yes, and I appreciate it, Edwin. Thank you. Do they sparkle? <laughs> Their blood sparkles as it splatters across the sky. <laughs> I don't know. Fascists and Nazis would directly attack your business if you were in any mode of the state. Both the SJW and fascists work more like the mob than anything else. That is a fair point. Sierra Whiskey. Mike, I'm about to click add to cart on all six issues of Six on Samurai. This looks really good. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Check out uh, check out the other ones, too. Do you, you guys want me to pitch all my books here? <laughs> At least I'll have something to, something to talk about. Uh, vampires lead to STDs, which leads to zombies. <laughs> hey, Gary. What's up, buddy? Uh, most vampire stories are uh, are about the hunter. Um, let me think about that. Is that accurate? Oh, whoops! What did I do? Did I hit the wrong button? I hit the wrong button. All right. Uh, let me think. Vampire stories. Let's see. What comes to mind? Nosferatu. Yeah, that's too old, too oblique. Um, guys, come up with some vampire stories. So you had Interview with the Vampire, which was about the vampires, not the hunters. Uh, you have Blade, which is about a vampire who is a hunter. You have The Lost Boys, which was about about um, someone being lured into the world of vampires. Um, yeah, Lost Boys. Count Chocula was about the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else we got? Empire Kiss with Nick Cage. That was about romance, right? If I remember correctly. That was not about hunters or. Oh no no no! That he was wasn't he like he thought he was a vampire, something like that. But that was about the vampire, not the hunter. Um, Fright Night was. Yeah, that was about the hunter. Um, <laughs> Lost Boys was about the sexy saxophone player, nothing else. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. So, 30 Days of Night. That was about two hours too long. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Um, you have Underworld, which is about the vampires and and the werewolves and their relationship. Once bitten, Vampire in Brooklyn, Near Dark. Van Helsing was about the hunter. Yes, Dawnbreakers haven't seen it. Nighthawk Warrior, what's up? Blood Rain. Uh don't know about that one. Um, once bitten. How about a uh? uh once bitten. Once bitten. Was that the one with with what's his face from Zorro the Gay Blade? Um, Tan Man. Tan. Why can't I remember his name? Zorro the Gay Blade is like one of the best movies ever. 
Um, From Dusk Till Dawn had one of my favorite movie lines. What's Ragnarok? Uh, Ragnarok is a character from Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite is like the world's most popular video game right now. And so I thought I'd do something that might catch me a few uh, few new viewers. Uh, so I popped how to in the video, which my brother assures me is the is a good way to get clicks, even though he doesn't have that many people. Oh, you know what? Hey, guys, go to Music Car NW. Um, that's my brother's site. If you're into cars, car audio, um, he does all these cool designs and stuff um, on his on his page or on his his YouTube channel. And uh, check him out. He is an award-winning designer, a fabricator, and installer of car audio and visual equipment. And uh, yeah, he only works nowadays on like super high-end vehicles from like super wealthy clients um but yeah he's like he's like one of the top guys in the field so uh check him out music car m-u-s-i-c-a-r-n-w on youtube uh hey mike hey Devin. dance of the damned okay we can get off the vampire stories now it's it's that's i think the the point has been made vampire movies aren't always and hardly it seems ever about the hunter um so i think that was a false assumption on the part of whoever said that all right these are got dracula 2000 that's right that was a that was a a um, origin story of Dracula and had nothing to do with the hunters. Mm. Okay, werewolves next. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter. Okay, there you go. That was definitely about the hunter. <laughs> uh, did you guys see Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? What did you think about that? I like that movie. Uh, my daughter's a huge Pride and Prejudice fan. And uh, I thought it was actually really well done. Plus, there was that chick from, um, oh, what's that movie? Uh, Baby. Baby Driver. She was in it. She's just darling. So, um, And Matt Smith, who I don't adore, but my daughter does. So she enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, Vampire Hunter D. Yes, like it, liked it a bit, but it dragged a little. Oh, the movie, yeah. Oh man, it is getting hot up in here. It is. Don't say it's not. It is. It's hot. All right. Let's see boots, straps. Do do do. This is hair. E. Brush. So what I'll do with this. I will be following Mitch Breitweiser's advice and, um, or at least his model. I don't know if he was telling me that I should do this, but I'm going to go ahead and have my son, uh, truncate this video into like, um, you know, a minute, minute, 30 seconds to, of, you know, here, draw Ragnarok. And then I'll go post it on my other social media. And I would appreciate it if you guys did too. Because I needs the views as I need new viewers. Where was Six Gun Samurai on sale again? Comixology. C O M I X O L O G Y. Ology. Sorry. Break part. All right. Um, I've never played it before. Mike, there's a heat wave. Remember, it doesn't end until Thursday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we have an air conditioner in here, and it's not helping me. Oh, wait, I have a fan right here. I can just turn it on. Is the fan not plugged in? The fan's not plugged in. Hey, Micah, can you crawl under my desk and plug the fan in? And then turn it to me. <laughs> right there, pull, that plat pull this out. Ugh. Plug that in. I have my gremlins working for me day in, day out. 
Yeah, I am sweating in here. Dang. How are you not hot, Isaac? Are you insane or something? Ah, oh, that feels good. Yeah, that's because you're insane. Because you're insane. Something wrong with your body temperature. Or your ther internal thermostat or something. Uh, let's see. Um, so this is my drawing. I think everyone in here is probably already a member of the Lone Star Squadron. But if you are not, please go to LoneStarComic.com. Uh, check out my Indiegogo and uh, flip through those 10 pages of finished black and white art. Give them a read if you want. Uh, that's not going to be the final dialogue. Um, I'm going to guess most of it will be, but I'm still uh, open to doing some tweakings. That was a first draft. I just wanted to get it written up and ready so people could read it um, while it was live. Um, but yeah, check it out. And if you would, and if you like, then share or and or um, contribute and become a founding member of the Lone Star Squadron for now and evermore. Uh, Night Squawkers. Go, Micah, go. <laughs> uh, that was good, Mike. Your tidy whities in water. Throw them in the freezer for a bit, then put them on. Good to go. What's that from? That's from something, isn't it? Is that a movie quote? As a person from a perpetually hot place, I sympathize greatly. Yeah. I might just take my shorts off. <laughs> every <laughs> Matt, every time you purchase a copy of Lone Star, an SJW forgets to delete their Twitter history. <laughs> 172 to go till Lone Star reaches 2,800. All right, sweet. That means uh, somebody, somebody bought um, since the last time I checked. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it very much. Thank you. All right, let's give him these straps here. Ooh, my buddy John is going to be so glad I'm doing this because he's going to go to RTX Expo uh, very shortly. Um, very shortly. What's that? August. And, and Hawk, my prince there. And that is like a really hot video gaming... Uh, um, convention. So if this turns out well, if people like this drawing, I will get it all finished up and colored up and um, make a print out of it. What do you guys think of it so far? Lone Star Squadron, go! Yeah, Lone Star Squadron, call your numbers out. Let's see who in here has actually paid their dues to be part of our team. I have shared your Instagogo Indiegogo on several sites. Thank you, DJ D Show. I appreciate it very much. 17 viewers up, 72 viewers up in here. Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Um, hey, Mike Isaac. Uh, he's got his arm crossed in these pictures, and I don't know what his chest looks like. Can you grab me some reference for his chest off wherever you can? But he wears a cape. Yeah, but he's got his arms crossed. See? I can see he's got, like, straps. But I don't know what else he why, has. Why do you have a jaw? Why do I have a jaw? Look, it's right there. He has no jaw. That's the mask. What are you talking about? See, but you put a little jaw. That's not. That's the beard. Don't tell me how to draw, Micah. <laughs> the peanut gallery has opinions. Yeah, look at those numbers calling out. Rock and roll. Those are the numbers that they get when they sign up to be a member of the Lone Star Squad. When they sign up to support the Indiegogo. Um, he's probably super jacked. <laughs> uh... I can't see. Oh, did you just do him in another pose? No, see, he closes his arms up. Ah. He just has like so just armor plating and then straps. So he's got a chest plate? He's got a like legit chest plate? 
steel chest plate. Okay, let me see it. Um, not that. that. That's the chest plate. It is? It seems like that. Ah, uh, here. Can you snap a picture of it? Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> um, and he does have a cape, which I love because I love drawing capes and stuff. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Edwin Boyet, LOL, the other John. John Finner, been a week or so. I must have missed that. Remove jaw immediately. <laughs> It's the price you pay for the blacklist brain trust. <laughs> yeah, with the helmet that big, his neck would have to be huge. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make him dance and take a pick. No capes. No capes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about doing uh, videos with my mom because my mom is like Edna mode. I mean, she looks like Edna mode. <laughs> like they are doing a cartoon version of the design in the boat. So uh, it'd be funny her like playing video games she's never played before, like Fortnite and just being like, what is this? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it could actually be pretty funny. So I would totally watch that. Um, let's see here. Link. Micah. Do, 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 do. Uh, signed up last Friday. Either some people backed out or refunded at a higher tier. The numbers haven't caught up yet. Your mom's cosplay would be amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I could get her to do it. If I could get her to do it, that'd be fantastic. It would be so hilarious. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, this, so this was like this. You know, nobody's, no one, no one would ever even know if I fudged stuff on this, but I'm like so fastidious about trying to get every single thing right. Um, strap, strap here. Did you, Did you see, see incredible? So why are you make? why are you doing that? Uh, Did I see it? Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Incredibles 2 was great. Um, I was really hesitant about about the whole Mr. Mom thing. I thought that was playing a little too lefty goosey, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but no, I thought I thought it was done very well. So, yes, that's two thumbs up for Incredible 2. Yeah. What do you think? Looks cool. Got a Seal of approval from my oldest son. Should do drift. I should do drift. I should do everybody, huh? It's a lot. Yeah. Well, good. Then this could be my I shtick. I probably have like a gazillion followers after I finish all the, all of them. But hey, it's a good thing to do. Good thing to do it. It's I'm hitting two birds with a stone. So, fan freaking tastic. Um. Okay. Guys, I need a I need a picture of the Warhammer. I need reference for the Warhammer. Here. What do you mean you can't really take it? Okay, that's fine. That, okay, that's fine. I just need it. I need ref. Yeah, Micah had this also. Aloha, my brother. How are the trade winds blowing tonight? I love the fantasy. I love the father story in it oh yeah 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 are you going to do a straight lone star books or are you going to throw some other books in between like ethan's rainbow brute um i'm gonna do i'm gonna do lone star quarterly um shoot i don't know if i'm gonna be able to look at this reference without my camera flipping um all right, I am going to have to fudge this just a wee bit. Um, so I'm going to do that quarterly. But if there's time and and audience uh, for me to, like, do, you know, like I was saying, I have all these other books um, that are ready to go that I could just publish. If you guys are, 
if you know if it shows that you know you guys are interested in just getting stuff in your hands i mean literally man if i launched say okay so say say deal with the devil say i did a deal with the devil indiegogo and i said all right i need i need uh, how big is that book i need fifteen thousand dollars um and i'd try to sell it at a you know whatever i could to get it into your hands as soon as possible and you could got you guys could get this thing because it's already done right so you could get it in your hands in like no time i mean would you guys all support that or or do you just want new original content because it's not part of the blacklist universe it's just part of my older catalog of work um but it hasn't seen print as a trade paperback which i would want to do um i don't know would you guys be into that or i'd kind of need a lot of evidence that that it would be worth doing because you know printing trades isn't cheap um but on the other hand i would love to get that done as a trade because i love i think it's a great story um for those who don't know all right i'll pitch another book uh oops no no Transform. So, Deal with the Devil is a story about uh, an FBI manhunter who is chased down and, um, or is chasing down his prey, his, his suspect. And his suspect is like lurking in the shadows, like telling him how he's, he's changed his ways and he's going straight. And if he would just let him go, just let him go. He he'll, you know, he'll never hurt anyone ever again. Um, and of course, the the cops like or the FBI dudes like, uh, you know, I I can't do that. And so, you know, he surprises him, freaking shoots him in the leg, or shoots him in the knee, um, and then disappears. Uh, calls nine one one, and disappears. And so the the dude, his name's Anthony. Um, you know, he loses his leg. Obviously, he loses his faith. He loses his friends. He loses his family uh, because he's, you know, rejected everyone in this depression that he's gone into. He's been sitting in his apartment, you know, living on disability, um, just waiting to die, right? Four years passes, um, and there's a knock at the door, and it's his. It's the uh, serial killer. And the serial killer says that he needs the, the FBI guy's help because his sister has been kidnapped, and hijinks ensue. <laughs> Tony one leg. <laughs> that sounds like me. Uh, if you're po doing popular game characters, you should do Overwatch characters too. Oh, Grant, you don't know. You don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh, I hate to do this in the middle of my video, but let's see. Let's do this Overwatch Zarya. Um, actually, let's just do quick looks here. Open with. Oh, no. Quick look. Quick look. All right. Let's zip through these. I've got Reaper. Um, sorry, my computer is soft. Mercy. Girls. Yeah. Um. Oh shoot! Here, take a picture. Diva. Diva with background. I've got like twenty. How many Overwatch prints do I have? Like twenty of them. Uh, there's four of them right there. Um. 
Reinhardt, Widow, McCree, uh, Soldier, Lucio, uh, Six Gun Samurai and Trade Paperback. No, Six Gun's not in Trade Paperback either. And, and I love, love, love to get that in trade. Um, all of them. Anyways, yeah. Oh, Farah. Yeah, you guys probably Farah's rat. My Farah's rat. Uh, let's see. What's the best one? Junk rat, Farah. Actually, you know what? Let's see, prints. Let's go to my prints folder. You guys can just see some of these. Oh, what is that? That's not the right folder. Ah, uh, Prince Web. What's in here? Okay, let's do this. Control. You guys want to see these? I know it's taking away from my what I'm doing here, but okay. Here's my Adventure Time. <laughs> uh, Arcade and Mojo. That's out of an issue of X Factor, X Men. X-Force. I think X-Force. Um, that's out of Injustice. Avengers. Uh, John Barrowman. Bats and Cats Kissing. That's out of Injustice as well. Uh, Bat Family. Batman Classic. I did this as an original drawing for my, my son's friend. Uh, he was a comic book kid. Uh, he loves comics. And so I drew the original of this for his birthday. Uh, that was out of Batman Arkham Unhinged. Also, Batman Arkham Unhinged, I think the same episode issue. Black Cat Commission, Black Knight, Black Widow, Boba the Fett, Vanity Fair, <laughs> uh, Captain America, Captain America Jumping, Carnage, Carnage Markers. You know, I can't I can't go through every single thing I have on here. Um, this is from DC Universe Online. Uh, oh, that's my heroin canary. Uh, Arian Hound. Oh, this is all my Calvin and Hobbes stuff. Cap and Bucky. Oh man, I sold out. Of, I could have sold another twenty of those if I had those at the con. Man, those two. I was sold out from day one. I never got them. Doctor and Rose. And all. Back, go back to Boba Fett. <laughs> um, all right. You know, maybe I'll look through the rest of these some other time. But I gotta, I gotta keep going on this. Um, Ragnarok. All right. I got reference for the battle axe. Woohoo! Looking good. Thumbs up from the peanut gallery. Uh, your Black Knight is great. Thank you. Um, I might have a career in comics. I hope so. I hope so. Someday. I'm trying to break in still, you know. It's only been 26 years of working for other people. Now, let me do me. All right, so let's do this. Um, that's actually pretty close to what you have here already. So this is all uh, rough stuff I can clean up in Photoshop. Not Photoshop, in um, in ink when I ink it. So, Or what I can do is I can do a tightened up version. Gosh, this hand is just not working, is it? Let's turn this hand because it's, this, it's not working with the direction of the, um, of the axe. So let's... Let's do that. Actually. Yeah, let's do that. This side's working fine. Let's see what the end of the battle axe looks like. And it doesn't look like much here. Let's delete. Uh, do speed vids of drawings from start to finish and colored, then lingers streams vids for more tutorial type stuff. 
colored. Oh my gosh, I can't. No, coloring this would take forever for me. Um, I hire out for colors, so it's just going to be just going to be me drawing. Um, although, I mean, you know, like if I didn't have anything else to do. Oh wait, I don't have anything else to do. But I don't want to color it. I want I want to hire out for colors because I, my I think my colors is better than I am. Do, 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 do. Let's just do that because. All right. <clears throat> I want that OG Black Knight print. Hey, you know what? All those prints are available on my store. So, you know, do yourself a favor. Go to my store and buy whatever you want. I mean, there's there's like 200 prints up there. So, um, yeah, if it's not up there and you saw it, then just, you know, ping me and I'll I'll make it available. I think my, my new Wonder Woman stuff is not up there yet. Um, I don't know why. Probably because I've been busy but uh all right um let's see where's his cape all right so his cape is like yeah the cape's all ripped up and stuff too so we'll do a ripped up cape it's got a nice little thing here and all capes um and you know what? I could even pop in on here with my phone and do an inking video as well. I just don't know how how much people would like doing that. Do you guys like the inking videos as well, or, or are, are these more fun for you? Um, and do you think I should go in now and do a tighter version so that it's easier to ink? but it'll make the video considerably longer. Yeah, do speed bits of drawing. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is, let's see. So this is actually here. This goes here. Does not make a complete circle. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Black Knight wins. <laughs> it's badass now. Uh, inking vids are cool to ink it. All right, I probably will ink it. Uh, what I'm probably going to do, I don't know, what time is it? 10.42. Edwin, are you still in here? Shout me out if you're still in here. Because uh, it'd be nice to do an Aloha Hour. Um, but rather than doing just in a regular Aloha Hour where we're shooting the crap, I could be, we could be shooting the crap, and I could be inking at the same time. What does Edwin think? Is Edwin in here? Yeah, he's here. Edwin, you ready for an aloha hour? Want to bust one of those out? Was there the same energy level from the fans at the con? Or was there a different vibe this year? Honestly, it was, it was, uh, okay, you're going to go home. Cool. Um, the fans themselves were, were, yeah, it was the same. Um, it just wasn't, mm, I don't know. I, and the thing is that, you know, San Diego Comic-Con, regardless how the industry is doing, like other cons, like weren't selling out and stuff, so there might have been a little bit less enthusiasm for them from the fans. But as far as like San Diego Comic Con, um, <laughs> you know, they could lose forty percent interest in the show and still sell out because you know they sell through their initial one hundred thirty thousand tickets, and then they still have another fifty, sixty, seventy thousand people in the waiting room waitlisted to get tickets. So yeah, that's uh that's a, that's a whole different uh thing there. So there it was still, you know, packed out um crazy busy show and everything. But uh yeah. Oh, oh, he's got straps on his arms. I'm glad I noticed that. All right. Um Oh wait, maybe that's his other arm. 
Oh yeah, he's got straps on both arms. I like how lazy video game designers are where they just do the same thing on both arms. <laughs> lazy, lazy game designers. I'm just kidding. This is actually a pretty complicated costume. Um, gosh, I feel like I do want to tighten this up. You know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to. Are you live streaming with EVS tonight? Uh, not as far as I know. Is he coming on? Um, I think, Grant, I think it's probably too late for Gary. Um, I don't know. Gary, you're not still in here, are you? Or was Gary on earlier? I don't know. I could ping Gary on Facebook and see um, before we start up. But, you know, this Aloha Hour, you know what? Uh, let's start in Aloha Hour. So I'll leave this here where it is right now. I'm not going to ink it tonight, but what I will do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to knock it out to like 28%, right? And then I'm going to go in tighter um, and put more details in so that I don't have to do all that thinking in the inking. Um, yeah, I thought they were I thought they were doing a comic gate chat tonight too, but it ended up just being, being me, Edwin, and Mitch. So let's save this in Prince, um, Fortnite, Ragnarok, Photoshop. I am shocked that I did not save this earlier. Uh, la 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 la. So everybody, tab. Zoom. Phil. All right. So I'll leave this up here for now for a little bit. Um, don't understand how he manipulates that mouse so quickly. I'm using a Wacom tablet, and it's not a mouse. So think in the ink. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to think in the ink. EVS doesn't go to bed this early, dude. EVS goes to bed at like 5 in the morning sometimes, so he could be up right now. He could be watching this right now. I have no idea. Uh, but, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a night owl, brother. He's a night sleeper. Or a or morning sleeper. Morning sleeper. Yeah, that way I can do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I will do it like that. I think I will. Because this is too many extraneous lines for me. Um, and so, yes, let me jump off now. If you guys want to come back, um, give me 10, give me 10 minutes. No, it's not with a mouse. It's with a Wacom tablet. So give me 10 minutes. I will start a new stream. Um, if you would like, uh, let's stop screen sharing. If you would like, um, please take the opportunity to rush out and tell all your friends that uh, what I'll be doing, and then share. Um, you know, anybody you think would be interested, you know, share it. Anybody who you think likes Fortnite, then um, then then come on back. I will see you guys in a bit with uh, with the Silver Fox of Comics Gate and possibly Gary Shipman. I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to. Give him a shout out and see if he's up. All right. Thanks, guys.